Every Sunday, Pat Sullivan from Sullivan Hardware and Garden provides great advice for do-it-yourself home improvements. And with all the heavy rain we've had this week, he has some tips for how to keep that moisture away from your house. You know, on my monthly inspections to neighbor Ted, you know, I discovered something here. And I was thinking, you know, with all the rain that we have, and this is so unusual to be doing something on gutters and water in the crawl space and basements in the month of June. But my gosh, the amount of water some areas have gotten. So checking out Ted's and you're just like, ah, oh, Ted, look at this. Now Ted added on uh, a few years ago and you can kind of see where they filled in. It kind of sunk here and he's never. So Ted literally, we don't even need a string and a level for this one. Ted's got a negative grade and Ted has water running back into the basement, you know, down along that foundation. Maybe it's getting picked up by the drain tile. Maybe it's going in by the exercise equipment Ted doesn't use. So, but, but we, we've got to fix this. So now maybe it's not as apparent. So the one thing you can do, you want to about oh, a quarter inch per foot of fall from the foundation out. So you can pull a little string. I've got a string here. I put a, a nice little line level so it's, it's nice and level. And again, we don't really need to check this out with Ted. So right there, we're about nine inches and you can kind of see right here about eight inches. So it's the water is going back the other way. Now, if we go to the end of the 10 foot, Ted's okay. So you're at 11 and a half inches there. We need about two and a half inches of fall. I'd have to figure that out. I can't do it right now. So in Ted's case, we need to fix this. So what you want to do is you want to, you want to get some fill dirt and you don't want just stuff in a bag. Now this is a little bit soft, but what you're going to see in here, I got some fill, whoa, got some fill dirt that's got some clay in it, and that's what you want up around the foundation of the house. So you want to fill all that in so everything is sloping away. But stuff in the bag, the topsoil, the potting soil, the potting mix is not going to work. This also is a time to kind of check out those areas if you've done some uh, landscaping this spr spring and kind of change the grade. Be cautious, if all of a sudden you have water in the crawl space, that's what it's caused from. All right, next we need to take a look at the downspouts. So not bad for Ted. I mean, we've got the downspout, he's got it going into a corrugated pipe, but didn't quite finish the job because he needs this little fitting right here that transfers from the round pipe to the rectangular pipe because this is kind of just hanging up here and you can kind of see where water, once again, can dump onto the downspout. Now the corrugated pipes are fine. You don't really need them. I actually sometimes like, if you get a good slope away from your foundation just using these you can kind of cut them you know and and, and get this going uh, the direction you want it you can even put it onto the good old splash pan so you don't have to have a corrugated pipe that seems to be what everyone does the problem is with this corrugated pipe it sits in the ground so long if you just follow Ted's down through here you can kind of see it comes back up and he's got a bubble in it so we know water is going to sit in there probably not going to cause him any trouble but it is a place where you could get some mosquitoes you know that that would you know in that in that sitting in the water so taking care of the area if you look i see ted did a great job he's got a uh, a, a cover on the downspout so we know that uh, the leaves aren't going to get down in there going to go right down in into the uh, drain system it's all about getting water away from the foundation and you know what just get out there and sometimes you have to get out get an umbrella go out during a rainstorm see if the gutters clogged see if the water's running back in don't be like ted thanks so much pat